Hey guys, before I get into the show, huge announcement. I just launched a brand new podcast called The Joe Camo Show, where I'm doing sports interviews, bringing some of the top influencers, athletes, anyone in the sports industry on the show and putting them through the ultimate interview. I'm telling you guys, this is super exciting called The Joe Camo Show. Now, I will be releasing it here on the Fantasy Football Counselor Podcast as well. Why am I doing that? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I want to give you guys value. Now, I'm going to have it on this podcast for a few months until everybody understands that there's a new show out and moves over there to listen to that as well. Understand, guys, it's hard to build an audience. And I've been building this audience and this fan base and Council Nation for over four years. So I'm going to be releasing it here again for two reasons. Number one, to make you aware of it. And for number two, to give you guys value, and you can actually listen to it here. But I do suggest, and I implore you guys, head on over to iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube, okay? Whatever platform you have. If you're an Apple user, head on over to the Purple Podcast app. Click subscribe to the Joe Camo Show. That's J-O-E-K-A-M-O. So pull over, guys. Joe Camo Show. I've already released the first uh, couple episodes there for you guys. Head on over there, click subscribe, and please leave that five-star rating review on iTunes. Follow on Spotify, and of course, we're on YouTube as well. I assure you guys, you're going to be very happy with this podcast, okay? All right, I'm going to get over to today's show. Head on over there, subscribe to Joe Camo Show. And again, I will be releasing it here for a little bit for the next couple of months until everybody gets familiar with it. But head on over to the Joe Camo Show. Subscribe there, and please leave that five-star rating review on iTunes. Let's get to today's show. All right, guys, welcome to the show. It is the last minute news and notes Sunday, week eight. I cannot believe, I've been saying this all week, week eight is here. This is absolutely insane. I cannot believe it. So we're talking news, notes, injuries, people that you should be aware of, be cautious about starting because again, starts and sits going into week eight or any week is crucial to your success. So I'm going to make sure you guys are cautious on who you start and who you sit. Go back. I just did an episode on this. On Thursday, we do a starts and sit show, me and Tim the ball guy. We also do a preview show, talking about the spreads, everything you need to know for the week, okay? But right now, we're doing last minute news and notes. So let's dive in. Again, before I do that, there is an app below, guys, called Flick Chat. Linked it here below as well, okay? It's in the body of the message here on YouTube. Or go to my story mode at Fantasy Football Counselor, my story. I link you to it. Join the chat. We are talking about sports during the game. We're interacting. It's super fun. Head on over to Flick Chat, guys. Join my room, Sports and Fantasy Chat. You'll absolutely love it, okay? Fantasy and Sports Chat, I think it's called. All right, let's go. Miles Sanders did not participate, has been ruled out for Week 8. Boston Scott, a very viable option, not only in reality, but DFS. When you're looking at starts and sits, Miles Sanders is going to be out. Boston Scott will be starting again and get plenty of touches in Week 8, okay? Just so you know that. Joe Mixon. Did not participate. Has been ruled out. Joe Mixon out. Look to start up Giovanni Giovanni Bernard. He will continue to have that starting role. Giovanni Bernard, Boston Scott. Viable options, guys, if you don't have a running back or you need a replacement, okay? Devontae Freeman did not participate. Looks like he's going to be out. Make sure you guys start Gallman. Gallman should be getting the start there. Mind you, I'm not excited for any running back on the Giants, but hey, Gallman looks like the guy there, and he's going to be getting the start. Let's keep going here. Uh, Kareem Hunt had a rib. His ribs were bothering, but he did practice fully, and he's not on the injury report. Just to note that Kareem Hunt hasn't been looking the greatest, but he is a guy there. I think as long as Nick Chubb stays sidelined, he should be uh, a viable option. De- uh, Deontay Johnson, it looked like he was injured with his toe last game. If you guys watched that game, I thought it looked serious. He hobbled off. Looks like he will be playing. And to answer the question, Claypool or Deontay, that's a tough one. But I would assume that Claypool should get more volume this week. Now, I'm in a league where I could technically start both, so I'm good to go. Uh, I can start up to seven receivers. It's crazy. Um, so I'm going to probably start both of them. But I would say that maybe Claypool gets more work because, again, you got to look at you know what goes up must come down. Deontay is a guy that I think is still going to get work, but... Be cautious because, again, Claypool could eat this week, okay? Robert Tanya and his ankle and knee were bothering him. He did practice not on the injury report. He apparently says his name is pronounced Tanyan. I don't care. I'm going to call him Tanyan anyway. Uh, Dalvin Cook, okay? Apparently, he's good to go 100%, not on the injury report. 
he he is going to play. Apparently, he's going to handle a full workload. I'm not sold on that. This is something that's going to be interesting to watch. Dalvin Cook, apparently good to go, okay? Uh, Michael Thomas, apparently still ruled out for this week as well. Let's keep going on with these injury reports. Going on to my other notes here. Now, again, make sure you guys start and sit the right person. You do not want to lose your week because you started the wrong person and you get screwed for that. So make sure you do start the right person. Stay sharp. Sterling Shepard. Apparently, he is not listed on the injury report. His shoulder and toe were bothering him yet again. Coming off a good week last week, apparently supposed to play. That's what we're hearing. He's good to go. I told you Devontae Freeman's out. Chris Godwin, apparently his finger is bothering him. Listed as out for Monday night's game against the Giants and is on the week's injury report. So Godwin just not being able to stay healthy the entire season. Very unfortunate for Chris Godwin owners. And I told you guys, be careful with these guys because you have basically Chris Godwin, who was drafted in the second round. You had Mike Evans drafted in the third round. Both these guys not really producing at their ADP. I told you, be careful. There was going to be Gronkowski there. There's the two of them. And now they bring in Antonio Brown, who should be active for week nine after he served out a suspension. So again, the value continues to plummet with guys like Godwin Evans. Both these guys, the mainstream told you, would be a top 10 wide receivers. Both of them, it doesn't look good for either one of them. Okay, especially Antonio Brown coming in and Gronkowski getting uh, some work there. Tons of problems for these guys. I told you to stay away. That's why 16 rounds is a game changer. So make sure you guys get it next year. You'll have a significant, significant advantage. Ben DiCucci. Ben DiCucci, yes, yes. Ben DiNucci, whatever his name is, will get the start November 1st today. That's what he's going to do. Dalton is ruled out. Now, Andy Dalton had a concussion, should be back. He is uh, on this concussion protocol. Ginger will not be playing today, but you want to fire up Ben DiNucci if you're absolutely desperate in fantasy. I personally do not trust him. I don't trust the Cowboys at all, but it is what it is. Who would have ever thought that week eight, I'd be saying start the coochie. I mean, I would never, I would never say that, but anyway, that that's what it's come down to with the Cleveland, or sorry, with the Dallas Cowboys. I'll call them Cleveland Browns. Dallas Cowboys, okay? Trouble time. Michael Pittman, apparently he's going to get a start today. He's activated off injury reserve. He is expected to play. He does have a relatively easy matchup. Now, pump the brakes here. Be cautious. Phillip Rivers is very hard to trust here. And again, Hilton is there. They've got Pascal. They've got other options. They've got their tight ends that they use. Pittman was a second-round pick. Very high draft capital. I just haven't seen a return on investment yet. Could have a boom game. Who knows? Very, very suspect. Be cautious with him as well. Tim Patrick's hamstring was bothering him. He is listed as a participant in practice on Saturday. He did practice, so he should be good to go. Apparently, he has been a big target getter. Maybe that's going to continue, but if he's a little banged up, who knows? Those hamstring things can linger, but he should be good to go this game. Allen Robinson cleared of concussion protocol and is expected to play as well against the Saints. Allen Robinson a huge factor in the offense of the Chicago Bears. And the Bears, we're going to have to see, man, are they the real deal? I believe they lost, when was it, last week or the week before. Is it going to continue with the, with the tear of wins, or are they going to show that they aren't the real deal and Nagy's on the hot seat, right? I'm not sold on the Bears. I'm not sold on them winning this week. I'm not sold on them at all. But Robinson, either way, is going to play. Like I said, Devontae Freeman is out. Wayne Gallman is starting. Dallas Goddard will be good to go. His ankle was bothering him. That's what we hear. A lot of people questioning him. Should be good to go. DK Metcalf, non-injury, fully participated in practice Friday and is not in the injury report. Apparently, there was time. I think he may have missed a practice during the week. Either way, Metcalf is good to go. Now, I want to talk about Metcalf. That's the reason I brought him up. Understand, guys, Lockett had a good week last week. Phenomenal week. It might be Metcalf's week because, again, what goes up must come down. And even when I was looking at the DraftKings uh, lineups, he was more expensive. DK Metcalf was. Why? Because sometimes a certain player on the team has a good week, then it's the other guy, and they kind of rotate, right? We're seeing this with Jefferson and Thielen, right? We're seeing it with other teams, right? When you look at wide receivers, so maybe it's going to be the same way with Deontay and Claypool this week. Sometimes when they have a pinnacle week, one week, doesn't necessarily mean that the next week after they're going to have a pinnacle week. So I'm thinking maybe Metcalf could have a good week. Very interested to see how that goes, right? Uh, Chris Carson, foot. Bothering him. Listed as questionable. Understand Chris Carson banged up. I don't think he's going to play. 
Uh, he will be a game time decision. I don't trust it. He might be limited in reps. And also, Carlos Hyde banged up there uh, with a hamstring. He is also listed as doubtful. Uh, so I would probably stay away from this committee. I think they have another guy, DJ Dallas. Listen, it's a disaster there. I told you to stay away from Chris Carson. He's banged up. Who knows what's going to happen there? And I don't I don't trust that situation, okay? Uh, and that's pretty much it. Sammy Watkins, I don't know if you care about him. Hamstring did not participate, ruled out. Noah Fant, he was a little banged up with the ankle, but is not on the injury report. So Noah Fant is a guy you definitely want to consider starting if you do need a tight end. And I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people banged up. And notice how I didn't mention Christian McCaffrey. He is sitting out, okay? Still sitting out. I don't think he's going to start this week. Uh, obviously, Saquon Barkley on the mix. Michael Thomas. All these guys drafted in the first round. Michael Thomas, Saquon, CMC, Dalvin Cook just coming back, banged up. Nick Chubb, banged up. Austin Eckler, banged up, right? Kenny and Drake, sucks, banged up, right? So, understand, I was wrong about Saquon. Not wrong, but I, I didn't think he'd get injured like this. But everyone else that can Chiefs just told you has been sucking and crapping the bed. And there's no accountability for this. Zero accountability for this, right? And I just want everybody to apologize. I want the mainstream to come out and say, hey, we suck. We were wrong about Kenyon Drake. We should have seen that he did nothing in Miami and he sucked. We were wrong about Eckler not being a workhorse, getting injured, right? Eckler has never been a workhorse. Why would you draft him as a workhorse, right? So, again, the recency bias, again, outweighing the Kinshipsis. It is what it is. That's why you don't listen to them. You listen to me, okay? So subscribe. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And also, I launched a new podcast called The Joe Camo Show linked it below make sure you guys subscribe there and follow on itunes please click subscribe on the joe camo show j-o-e-k-a-m-o look it up on your iphone or spotify joe camo show click subscribe and leave a five-star rating review it helps the channel a lot thank you guys that's your last minute news and notes week eight appreciate you being here enjoy the game and join us for the virtual tailgate at ftfn 11 a.m eastern time make sure you guys head over there on youtube ftfn click subscribe and see you at 11 a.m for the virtual tailgate We'll talk soon, guys. Enjoy the games. I'm out.